Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to describe each part of the digestive system, go through um, the job of, of each part. And we'll start with the mouth. Uh, food is chewed by the teeth and saliva is added from the salivary glands. Saliva is added for two reasons. One reason is that it moistens the food and makes the food easier to swallow. But it also contains an enzyme called amylase. Now what these digestive enzymes do is they break down the large molecules of food into smaller molecules of food that can then be absorbed into the bloodstream that are then soluble and small enough to be absorbed into the bloodstream. And I'll come on to that again in a bit. So what this amylase does is it breaks down starch molecules, which are large, into smaller sugar molecules. Next part, we have the esophagus. Uh, we could also call it the food pipe. We could call it the gullet. Uh, now, food travels down here when it's swallowed by waves of muscular contraction that we call peristalsis. That's how the food is carried through the gut. It's through the muscular tissue contracting and carrying the food along. And then, of course, the food ends up in the stomach, which is here. And the stomach churns the food, stores the food as well for a period of time. It adds another type of enzyme called protease enzymes. And these enzymes break down protein and breaks them down into smaller um, molecules that we call amino acids. And in the stomach as well, we've got the addition of hydrochloric acid. So hydrochloric acid is added. Now that doesn't digest the food. That's a common misconception. What it does is it, well, it's got two jobs. One, it kills germs. It kills bacteria that may cause us harm. But it also makes the conditions just right for these protease enzymes to work. And after the stomach, the food then passes into the small intestine here. Into the small intestine. And this is where digestion is completed. Now I'm just going to explain what I really mean here by digestion. Now here's a large, a large molecule. And what happens is these enzymes that we talked about then break up or digest these large molecules such as starch as mentioned before into smaller molecules that are then soluble and can then pass through the guts through the wall of the gut into the blood that can be absorbed into the blood okay and that is the whole point of digestion. It's to break down these really big molecules into smaller molecules that can then pass into the bloodstream, are then soluble and can then pass into the bloodstream. That is the whole point of digestion, breaking down the large molecules into smaller molecules that are then soluble and then can pass into the bloodstream. That's where we want the food. We want it in our bloodstream. So our blood can carry it all around the body. Okay, so back to the small intestine. So digestion is fully completed. You get these different digestive juices released from the pancreas that contain loads of enzymes and from the wall of the small intestine, again, that contain these protease enzymes, carbohydrates enzymes like amylase that break down carbohydrates and also lipase enzymes to break down fats. Now, where's the liver? The liver, there it is. Um, the liver makes all sorts of different um, substances. One of the substances that it makes, I should have put it on my keywords list here, is a substance called, called bile. And that gets added to the food um, from this organ called the gallbladder. And it releases the bile into the small intestine. And what that does is it emulsifies fats. Now, the word, word emulsifies means um, to break down the larger droplets of fat into smaller droplets. And that helps those lipase enzymes to break the fats down really quickly. Now, along with this little video, I've got a document with some content in, some notes, some sentence starters. 
because I know there's a lot to take in here. All right, so small intestine. We've now broken down all the food, um, all the digestible food into small molecules, then gets absorbed into the blood. There's the process of absorption where the food moves into the blood. Then we have the large intestine. So the food passes from the small intestine here into the large intestine. And here, I say the food passes in. What's left there is the food that we cannot digest, which is the fiber, so the undigested food. There's also lots of water in there as well. And the water helps to... Sorry, the water was added to the food. Um in those digestive juices, and it then gets reabsorbed back into the bloodstream. And there's also lots of bacteria in there too. Now those, those, uh, the, those bacteria help to process this undigested food. And then the feces are formed. The feces are then stored in the rectum, and the food will then, or the, the feces, sorry, not the food, the feces will then pass out of, out of the body through the anus um, when we go to the toilet to get rid of our solid waste. And that's it. Six minutes, 34 seconds. See you later. Bye-bye.